What's going on, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in again this week. Uh, this week's video is a highly requested and long overdue video. Uh, this week, we're going to be taking a look at attenuating meta sounds within Unreal Engine 5. Uh, now, I should point out that this is still Unreal Engine 5 early access. We are now up to early access version 2. Uh, while we don't have an exact release date on Unreal Engine 5 full version, um, we do know that it's early 2022. So I just wanted to kind of get some tutorials created uh, to, in preparation for that. So what I mean when I say we're going to be taking a look at attenuating meta sounds, I mean, for example, setting up reverb zones. setting up occlusion, as well as spatialization. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. And if you'd like to be a part of the Sound Effects Guide Discord server, you'll find a link in the description below. So with that being said, let's get started. All right, so we're gonna kick things off with talking about reverb volumes, and we're gonna first discuss it by deconstructing this scene, and then we'll jump into building it from scratch. Uh, so in this scene, we've got this large concrete hallway, and if I'm being completely honest, it's simply for aesthetics. So if we move that out of the way and show all of our assets, what's really driving this whole thing is this audio volume. So even with the hallway moved out of the way, we can come over here and we hear our regular footsteps. And now you can hear that heavily reverberated footstep. Uh, now, I do have the reverb settings kind of exponentially uh, accentuated just so that you guys can hear it. If you're working on a project, you'll, you'll want to fine tune the reverb settings to whatever it is that you're working on. Um, but I just wanted to make sure that it was noticeable. And just to confirm that it's not the hallway itself, if we were to go ahead and move this back and then move it over a section of the concrete where there isn't that reverb, you can hear that even though we are inside the hallway, there is no reverb. Whereas if we move back here, you'll be able to hear it. Now, I'm not going to be diving into dynamic reverb. Uh, that is something that the engine is capable of. I'm not going to be diving into it in this video. That will be a later video, um, but I just wanted to kind of give you guys the basic reverb settings and uh, go from there. All right, so we're going to start with a brand new level and we're going to build this out. And um, when I say a brand new level, there is a little asterisk next to that. One of the things that I have done already is set up the footsteps. I haven't applied any effects to it. I've just simply set them up on the animation using uh, the meta sound. And if you missed my video on how to set up footsteps using meta sounds, check out the video that just popped up in the top right hand corner and then come back to this one. Um, but as far as anything else, it is all just the default. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by setting up our audio volume. So I'm going to come over here and just type in audio volume and we can drag that in. And we're going to size this up a little bit. Just so this area over here, um, we're not going to do any of the aesthetics like I did in the original scene. I just want the volume to be there. Now by default, this audio volume doesn't do anything. Uh, we actually have to apply a reverb setting to it. So in the details panel, 
uh, with your audio volume selected, you'll find this section called Reverb. Uh, if you drop down the arrow, you'll find Settings, and this will open up the settings. So you'll see that we don't have any reverb effect on it currently. So we're going to go ahead and create one. And we're just going to call this footstep reverb. And it applies a reverb effect. Now to access the settings of this, uh, you can just double click on this and it will bring up the reverb settings. If for some reason it looks like this and there's nothing there, uh, just go up to your window and click on details. And so these are the settings by default. Now the default settings as far as reverb goes is pretty low. Um, so again, just like I did in the beginning, I'm going to change some settings here uh, just so that you guys can hear what's going on. Now with these settings, there should be quite an extensive amount of reverb. So we're gonna go ahead and save this and we can close that. And so even though we have this reverb setting applied to this audio volume, if we hit play, we've got our footsteps. And if we walk into that audio volume, we still don't hear anything. So what we've actually got to do is we're going to come into our footstep meta sound and we're going to go ahead and click on general and over here on the left, uh, let me actually get my camera out of the way so that you guys can see this. Uh, you're going to find this attenuation. And so what we can do is we're just going to create a new sound attenuation and I'll just call this footstep attenuation and you can name these whatever you want uh, just so that I can keep track of everything so now that we have attenuation set up uh, if we double click on this just like we did with our reverb settings you're gonna see all of the different attenuations and by default uh, the three attenuation settings that are enabled is your volume your spatialization and reverb. So technically, we don't have to do anything to this attenuation for what we're doing currently. Uh, we can just go ahead and save it, save our footsteps, and then close this. And so now that we have the reverb attenuation enabled, if we hit play, We've got our footsteps, and then if we move over here to where that audio volume was, uh, it's a, still a little difficult to hear, but there is now reverb applied to it. So if you want to increase the volume of that reverb, uh, we can come in here to our meta sounds. And if we go back underneath our attenuation, we can scroll down here to reverb and change the minimum and maximum reverb sends. So just for the sake of doing so, I'm going to make both of these one. So it's sending just a consistent amount of the footstep to the reverb. And so now if we hit play and we come in here. You can hear that there's quite a bit more reverb being applied to those footsteps. So if you're looking to really fine tune your reverb zones uh, and fine tune how much audio is being sent, uh, you're going to do that within the footstep reverb and the attenuation settings. All right, so now we're going to talk about occlusion and I'm going to include spatialization in this as well. So in this scene, uh, we've got a room set up and inside this room, uh, we've got some lights, some speakers, some sound foam. It, this doesn't affect anything. However, unlike with the reverb hallway, the walls, the ceiling, the floors, uh, it, it all does actually matter, uh, which is why I have this door on here. 
And this door I have set up to a level sequencer. And all it does is go up and down as a loop to hide and unhide the room. But what it's also doing is it's occluding and unoccluding that audio. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this. And if I open up my meta sound for the audio, which I did do a terrible job at my folder hierarchy and it ended up getting imported into the first person blueprint. Um, but if we open up this meta sound, it's just a general wave player playing the music. But if we come in here to our general settings, you'll see that I do have an attenuation applied. And within this attenuation, like I said, with the reverb by default, uh, the volume, the spatialization, and the reverb are all set by default. But what I've also done is hit this tick box under enable occlusion. Now there is a couple channels uh, that you can choose from. I'm using visibility. Uh, that way, if the audio source is visible, it's unoccluded. And then as soon as there is something blocking, uh, then it enables these settings. And so the way that I have this set up currently, I have anything over 200 Hertz gets rolled off. So that way, once we're inside the room, we're hearing all of the frequencies, but then as soon as it gets occluded, then everything above that 200 Hertz gets rolled off. And so it's actually super simple. Like I said, we had to apply the attenuation and then within the attenuation, we set the occlusion. And since spatialization is turned on by default, what that's doing is it's putting that audio in a 3D environment. So if I select our music asset, you're going to see these two spheres around it. The inner sphere is anytime the player is within that inner sphere, they're going to be hearing that audio at full volume. And then as they exit that sphere and continue to move out, the volume is actually going to roll off until we're completely outside that sphere then you won't hear that audio. But because spatialization is enabled, it's also going to automatically pan left and right. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. We're gonna move into the room and then I'll turn the character's head. And so you can hear that everything's actually working together. So as we pan the character, we're hearing the audio pan in that 3D environment, but we're also hearing the occlusion still as the wall goes up. And as we move further away, you can hear the volume of that audio fade out. All right, so that's gonna wrap things up for this week's video. If there's any other topics, whether it's Unreal Engine 5, Unreal Engine 4, or just sound design in general that you'd like to see me cover, let me know by dropping a comment in the comments section below. Or again, you can get a hold of me on the Sound Effects Guide Discord server. Until next time.